this morning in Isaiah chapter 48, we see a passage that contains a warning against Judah's hypocrisy in claiming to follow God, but actually being far from him. Right out the gate in verse 1, God refers to these people as the house of Jacob. The name Jacob meaning the deceiver, and also as coming from the waters of Judah, who was the immoral son of Israel. The names God chooses to refer to the nation of Judah by are to show how he views them. Verse 1 shows that while they claim the name Israel, meaning governed by God, in reality, they were acting as deceivers who were given over to idolatry. God rightly condemns them in verses 3 through 5 by saying, The former things I declared of old, they went out from my mouth, and I announced them. Then suddenly I did them, and they came to pass, because I know that you are obstinate, and your neck is an iron sinew, and your forehead brass. I declare them to you from old. Before they came to pass, I announced them to you, lest you should say, my idol did them, my carved image and my metal image commanded them. What God is saying is that one purpose of prophecy is so that God alone can receive credit when miracles are done. Without prophecy of God's provision, Judah was likely to give credit of God's provision to idols, which are the work of man's hands. Israel had failed to recognize God as the only true and living God. They might have claimed him with their lips, but their hearts were far from him. God would eventually use Babylon to judge the nation of Judah, just like he had used Assyria to judge the ten northern tribes of Israel and cause them to go into captivity. But just as God tells them their judgment is certain, God also gives them a message of hope in verse 20 when he says to the people, Go out from Babylon, flee from Chaldea, Declare this with a shout of joy. Proclaim it. Send it out to the end of the earth. Say, the Lord has redeemed his servant Jacob. Our takeaway from today is simple. Even though Judah was living in sin and would face consequences for it, God would be faithful to restore them when they returned to him. Let me leave you today with 1 John 1, 8-9. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness.